but the weather isn't cooperating. But that's okay, because I can ride this bike inside. Ooh, see that? I am showing contentment. Contentment is learning to be okay with what you have. So, I'm okay with this stationary bike. You know, they've made all kinds of advancements with stationary bikes. <gasps> I want one of those bikes that has all those different settings where you can make it feel like you're going like uphill or downhill. Whee! <laughs> no, you know what I really want? I want one that has a TV screen in the front so it looks like you're riding a bike through mountains or, 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 or next to the ocean. Maybe I can use my laptop. <sighs> Paris, friend. C'est magnifique! Mm. Ooh! I want a bike that comes with a built-in trainer! Someone to like, pump me up while I ride! Come on, Erica! You can do it! That bike won't pedal itself! Yeah! Move! I can do it! Move! Do it before. Too bad all I got is this old thing. All it does is pedal. In today's story, we'll hear about a king who always wanted more and more and more! I kind of feel like him right now. It's not fun. <sighs> what are you slowing down for? You've got to keep moving if you're going to make it yes. all the way to Paris. You want to see the Eiffel Tower, oh. don't you? We. Oui. I can't hear okay. you. Move, move. I will. Move, move. See you in Paris. Move, move. Woo! The Bible. It's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of 1 Kings, chapter 21. After David and Solomon, 
Many kings ruled the lands of Judah and Israel. Some of them listened to God, but most did not. King Ahab was worse than any other king of Israel before him. He only thought of himself and did exactly as he wanted to do. Do exactly as I want. Yes, your highness. Uh, what do you want? Hmm. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and one... Oh, it escapes me. Ah, just bring me some pears flambe. No one ever said no to King Ahab. Not even his wife, Queen Jezebel. Am I the most fabulous king to ever rule this land? Yes, of course, because you have me. <laughs> king Ahab was certain he had everything he could ever want. That is, until he took a drive into the neighboring town of Jezreel. Ooh, just look at that lovely vineyard. It is perfection. Stop at once. King Ahab examined the green leafy vines and the heavy bunches of grapes. What fantastic fruit. The soil must be excellent. You, over there. Who, me? Who, me, your majesty? Uh, who, me, your majesty? Of course, you. Do you own this fine vineyard? I do, your majesty. Excellent. You must sell it to me at once and I shall turn it into a vegetable garden. No. Excuse me? Your majesty? I'll pay good money. I'll trade you a better vineyard. I said no, your majesty. May the Lord keep me from giving you the land my family handed down to me. You? What? No! <laughs> King Ahab was enraged. When he returned to the palace, he threw himself down on his bed and refused to eat anything, even date cakes dipped in honey. Why are you in such a bad mood? Why won't you eat anything? Neighbor won't give me his fine yard. Oh, snap out of it. You're the king. I'll get you that vineyard. Queen Jezebel was just as bad as her husband, or maybe worse. She wrote a letter to the leaders of Naboth's town. Here is your mission, which you must accept. Number one, announce a special day and give Naboth an important seat. Two, have two bad guys sit across from Naboth and claim that he cursed God and the king. Three, drag Naboth out of the city and throw stones at him until he dies. That should clear. Queen Jezebel sent her message and the leaders of Naboth's town followed it to the letter. Tell the queen, mission accomplished. Queen Jezebel was delighted by this terrible news and immediately went to find King Ahab. Oh, woe is me. Naboth won't give me. Get up. Take over Naboth's vineyard. He's dead. What? <laughs> mine, all mine. King Ahab ordered his chariot and set off at once for Jezreel. <laughs> we'll rip out these annoying vines, plant peas, parsnips, potatoes. But even as Ahab garden partied, God spoke to the prophet Elijah. Go down to see Ahab. You will find him in Naboth's vineyard. Ahab has gone there to take it over. God gave Elijah a special message for the king. Elijah had faced Ahab before, and knew the king would not be pleased to see him. Okay, here goes. Elijah traveled to Jezreel and found Ahab in the vineyard. Pull out that row of vines, dig up the soil. King Ahab. The king turned. His eyes narrowed as he spied Elijah. <gasps> My enemy, you found me. The Lord says, haven't you murdered a man? Haven't you taken his property? Well, 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 no, no, not me personally. I, I, and now he doesn't need it anymore. <laughs> so you've done what is evil in the sight of the Lord. The Lord says, I am going to bring horrible trouble on you. You have caused Israel to sin. Oh. For once, Ahab listened to a message from God. He tore his clothes, a sign of great sorrow for what he had done. 
he put on the clothing people wore to show sadness. No food. Not even date cakes dipped in honey. Not even date cakes dipped in honey. King Ahab and Jezebel had made themselves miserable, taking more and more. And in the end, both of them paid for it. Yeesh, King Ahab really wanted Naboth's vineyard. It's okay to want things, but Ahab wanted it so badly that it made him miserable. He even refused to eat. Has it ever happened to you? Have you ever wanted something so badly that it was all you could think about? Maybe it made you like super sad when you couldn't get it. Or maybe you threw a tantrum. If that sounds like something you might do, you may need a little help with contentment. Wanting things is fine. It gives you something to work toward or to look forward to. But, but when, when you, you want, want more and, and more and more and more and more, and more, it can make you feel like Ahab, miserable. Jesus once said, watch out. Be on guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Jesus knew there is so much more to life than the stuff we have. There are memories to be made, adventures to be experienced. Ooh, there are relationships to be grown with God and with others. These are things that will last long after the stuff we wanted has broken or <laughs> gone out of style. So it's okay to want things, but here's the one thing to remember. Wanting more and more can make you miserable. So maybe one day I'll get a stationary bike with a few bells and whistles, but in the meantime, I'll ride this one and imagine it's springtime in Paris. Move, move, move! My imagination is very vivid. Au revoir! Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's so peaceful. You, th you think this is p peaceful? <laughs> Who would have thought that riding a bike would be so easy? Uh, what are you? Are you even? You're not pedaling? No. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do oh, I'm half crazy. Go! Oh. Hey everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and you're watching The So-and-So Show. You know what I love about you, Brandon? Uh, how I'm such a faithful friend. <laughs> no. Nah. I love the way you look at the camera after I've done something amazing. Oh. But yeah, yeah, like you're speechless in my presence because of how awesome I am. It's... Yeah, it's just like that. See, he's doing it right now. Okay, if you need me to tone down my awesomeness, you just let me know so, so you don't feel overwhelmed by it. Just, just, just let me know. I think I can manage. You sure? Yeah. You sure? I mean, we could, we could come up with a secret code word like grapefruit. You know, anytime you say the word, I'll know to be less distractingly amazing. Okay, fine, grapefruit. Well, well it can't be grapefruit now. Why not? Well, because I said, I just told you it's a secret code word. It's secret. Yeah, but if it's a secret from you, how will you know I'm saying it? Uh, it's all part of the code. It's maybe. There. <laughs> I just love that about you, Brandon. Yeah, makes me feel good. It's time for someone who knows stuff. for having me on the show today. Yeah. I was totally starting to run out of new content ideas for my feeds. Oh. Your, your what, your feeds? Yes, uh, you know, on social. Sysoc, a media post, hair book. Yeah, Cassie's what they call an influencer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, let's do that again, right? Okay, okay. 
Perfect. Oh! Yes. Brandon, ready? Okay. Oh. oh unless, yes. Wait, do I do the sideways? It's or? okay. It's too late. They I'm love film videos. At... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so what? Uh, yeah, wait, you're not posting that, are you? Oh, it's already done. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. <gasps> already have some likes. Already? That mm -hmm. fast? Yeah, and yeah. the faster the better, right, Cass? Uh, yep. I need likes immediately in order to get more than my influencer rival, Social Sal the Gal Pal. Oh. So, so Cassie, before we go any further, for the sake of our viewers, tell us who you are and what you know. Oh, I'm Cassie. My awesome cousin. That's right. And like John said, I'm an online influencer. I post videos, photos, blogs, tutorials, quotes, pretty much anything else that you can think of. Wow. Say cheese! Oh, oh gouda, 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 oh, gouda, gouda, gouda. <laughs> So you do this to, to what? Uh, inspire people? Uh, yes, that. Uh, plus, it's because I get tons of likes. Oh. <laughs> uh, the video of me and you, Brandon, it has 200 likes already. See? 200? Yeah, but I need more. I mean, you know what they say. More is more. <laughs> no, I think the phrase is less is more. Whatever. More is more. Quote for the hour check. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> so what kinds of things do you post about? Hold for hashtags. Oh, uh oh. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. I pretty much post about everything. You know, food, sports, cute animals, beauty tips, homework tips, basically whatever I'm doing in the moment. So today, it's the so-and-so show! All right! <laughs> Say hi! so-and-so show check it out this is a really cool place look at that basketball hoop whoa <laughs> let's go over here oh lockers 1985 much <laughs> no big deal oh wow check out this this cool lamp don't get into my video oh, sorry oh oh look at this guys what are you doing john <laughs> it's pretty cool anyway hashtag follow like subscribe see you later bye <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Ah! Social Sal the Gal Pal has a video with 3,000 likes already. Uh, my high five fail video only has 1,500 likes. She has doubled me. I mean, what else can I do? What else can oh, I do? Oh, uh, well, uh, you know what, Cassie? Maybe you could just stop using the phone for a little bit. More likes. Uh, okay. Hey, maybe we should just move into... Costumes. What? Brilliant. Uh... How did you? Everyone likes an unexpected costume change. Say cheese! Oh, go to go to go to. <laughs> Cassie, we really shouldn't move. No, on. everyone laugh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, laugh. Uh, um, uh, we need more. Maybe we should do a video of us dancing. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Brandon, show us your moves. <laughs> Grapefruit. <laughs> huh? Grapefruit. Oh, good. Uh, it's it's bubble story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hi, Kellen. Hey, Cassie. So, we just started Bible Story Time with Kellen. Kellen is the best. And if I'm lucky, maybe he'll even ask me to help him tell the Bible story today. <laughs> what was that? Uh, Cassie does a lot of posts online. Oh, cool. So, what do you say, Kellen? Can I help? My followers are waiting. I'll get more likes if you let me. I just hit 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. <gasps> I'd love your help, Cassie. But you'd have to be off your phone. Oh, yeah. Sure. No problem. You should be off your phone. Yeah. No, just you give me a no, 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 Let me hashtag no, no, just, it. Please, just, 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 just let me go. Just let me try no, one. No, 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 no. You're my cousin. <gasps> Looks like we're ready to help. Great. Then it's time for... Human Head Puppet Theater! <laughs> King Ahab was the king of Israel. Hello, I am Ahab, your king. King of Israel, that is me. <laughs> king Ahab's palace was close to a beautiful vineyard. <gasps> Woo! Look at that vineyard over there. <gasps> it would be a perfect place to grow my vegetables. I want it. I want it! <laughs> I want it. But the vineyard belonged to a man named Naboth. <laughs> oh, 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 do more cardio. 
Oh, Naboth, the king is come to see you. <laughs> oh, mm. your royal highness. Yes. Oh, thank you. Welcome to my vineyard. Well, your vineyard is lovely. Thank you. <laughs> and it's awfully close to my palace. <laughs> oh, yes, it's been here for generations. Oh, that's nice. I want it. You, what, my vineyard? Yes, I'll trade you a better vineyard for it. Or, or if you prefer, I'll pay you what it's worth. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. No, may the Lord keep me from giving you the land that, that my family handed down to me. No. Uh, no? <gasps> right, no. Oh. What? <laughs> No one's ever said no to me before. <laughs> so Ahab went home very upset that Naboth wouldn't give him the vineyard. He laid in his bed and he wouldn't even eat anything. <laughs> I'm in a bad mood. Now Ahab's wife Jezebel came to check on him. Why are you in such a bad mood? Why won't you eat anything? Because I talked to Naboth and he won't sell me his vineyard and I want it, I want it. Is this how the king of Israel acts? Yes. Get up, eat something. It'll make you feel better or I'll go get your vineyard. You will? Yes. <gasps> Yay, thank you. So Jezebel wrote some letters in Ahab's name and stamped them with his royal seal. Announce a day when people are supposed to go without eating and have Nabal sit in an important place among the people. Hmm. Oh, put two evil men in seats across from him. Have them accuse Naboth of cursing God and the king. Oh, yes, that's good. Uh, then take Naboth out of the city and kill him. Ooh. <laughs> Everything Jezebel wanted to happen, happened. Naboth was killed and the word got back to Jezebel. Get up. Go take over the vineyard of Naboth. The one he wouldn't sell me? Yep. But how? He's dead. Oh, so sad. But yay for me! Ah, to the vineyard, my vineyard. A deep, deep, deep. I'll go into the vineyard. A deep, deep, deep. Yay! It seemed like Ahab got everything he wanted. But then a message from the Lord came to a prophet of God named Elijah. God told Elijah to go see Ahab. Ah, the sweet smell of getting what I want. <laughs> Good afternoon. I know you, you're that prophet in Elijah. What, what do you want? The Lord says, haven't you murdered a man? Technically? I... Haven't you taken over his property? Well, that's a little harsh. Dogs licked up Naboth's blood. In that same place, dogs will lick up your blood. Huh? That's right. I said your blood! <laughs> yeah. Ahab let himself be consumed by wanting more and more for himself. His actions made God very angry, and God eventually took away the throne from Ahab and his children. The end. Wow. Rough story, Kellen. Yeah, things got ugly really fast. But sometimes things can get out of hand when we find ourselves wanting more and more. You know, Jesus once said, be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. So we shouldn't ever want things? Well, I don't think Jesus meant that, but if you do want something so bad that it's making you miserable, or if it's making you do something 
that you know is wrong. There are more important things in life than stuff. More important than followers or views or likes. Definitely. Thanks, Kellen. No problem, Cassie. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. I think I need to change my quote for the hour. Okay. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Be grateful for what you have. More is not always more. Hey, that's awesome, Cass. Oh, and it gives me a great idea for a question. Reveal the question. Oh, yes. What can you do when you find yourself wanting more and more? Yeah, like Kellen said, you can ask God to help you think about something else. Or uh, you can focus on what someone else wants instead of focusing on just what you want. Or, or you can do what Cassie wrote. Find a way to be grateful for what you have. Don't, don't worry about what you don't have. True. And I may not have as many likes as Social Style the Gal Pal, but I inspire plenty of people with the things that I post. You know what? You inspire me for sure. I... Like you! Ah, ding, 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 ding! ding. <laughs> How would you answer the question? What can you do when you find yourself wanting more and more? I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And I'm Cassie. And this was the So and So Show. Yeah, it yes, was. it was. I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> what about that? <laughs> <laughs>